hi and welcome back to my channel if you are seeing my face for the very first time you are welcome to my channel so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how i started praying for my spouse how i started praying for my husband at the age of 16. you guys before i even start this video slash story time i want to say that yes god answers prayers god answers genuine prayers even if we are not really in a relationship like that with him it is very true that he sees the hearts of his children and yeah he answers prayers according to his will and this story is one of such kind of him answering my prayer of a husband so let's start let's get into the story guys at the age of 16 i was a church goer you know what a church goer is a church goer is someone who goes to church for the sake of going to church you don't go to church because you really want to you, you because you really want to meet god because you really want to hear his word you go to church because you want to fulfill the righteousness of at least i've gone to church yeah so i was a church goer I grew up in a, a Catholic home. My parents were Catholic and we would always go to church every Sunday. My parents made it mandatory for us to go to church every Sunday. And so I'll, I'll put myself in the category of a church goer because even though I attended church every Sunday, this was when I was pretty much young, like I said, I didn't have a personal relationship with God. If you have watched my previous video, then you might have heard me talking about it. But if not, I'm going to link it somewhere here so you can catch up on that video. That video talks about how I wasted my life, basically, my life in my, how I wasted my 20s. But anyways, that aside, so even though I was not um, a Christian, even though my life was not, um, nothing to write home about, about, um, you know when you are in fellowship with god when you have a relationship with god you know how your life gets transformed right i was not in that level in my spiritual journey with god but god is so faithful he's so loving he's so kind he's so merciful and he answers my prayers so let the story begin now growing up at that tender age i would always see the relationships of people, of parents, of um, our neighbors, or I would watch in movies and I would see how relationships were nothing to, hide, to write home about. I would see how relationships were built on lies, were built on cheating, were not built on the foundation of Christ. And I have always, always, always hated a relationship that there is no the guy is not faithful to his wife you know i have when always i watch movies especially in nigerian movies where i see guys are cheating they're sleeping out of like they're cheating out of their matrimonial homes or where i see guys who god would say that they cannot keep one woman that the way ladies are too many why do i have to stay with just one woman when i can have as many or so i just cringed and i felt so bad and this was something that i really did not want to be my experience right so growing up back then i would always speak words like oh god help me i don't want to have a man that would not be faithful to me this is not even like that kind of prayer where you go intentionally to god in your closet and you kneel down and you start speaking all these words no i would just say it randomly i'll say oh god please don't give me a man that will not be faithful to me i cannot deal with a cheating husband i cannot deal with a man that that would not respect me that would not honor me and all that and so these were the words that i'll just randomly throw yeah i'll call it randomly throwing because again as much as it came from a sincere heart i did not even really know the gravity of the word i was speaking and i did not even know that god was actually answering my prayers again because i did not have a relationship like that with him right but i know looking at looking back right now that indeed those prayers were being answered so i would speak randomly random words about god please bless me with a 
a faithful man bless me with a man that fears you because i believe that if a man genuinely fears god he would respect his wife he would be faithful to his wife he would honor his wife and all those beautiful things and that is how i wanted my relationship to be and so i would always speak those words i don't i cannot remember how many times i actually said it and even when i finally had my first boyfriend back then i would still speak those words i mean you would i'm sure even in your case for some of us who have not ended up who have not ended up marrying the first boyfriends that we ever had it was in our hearts that we wanted to end up with this guy you know they say there's something about first love and you really want to end up with that guy but even though i was in a relationship with my first love ex-boyfriend i still pray to god about blessing me with a faithful husband i don't know why i always said that it, it was as though I was foreseeing the future. It was as though I was praying about him, but not necessarily about him, you know. Because in my mind, I knew that whatever man I end up with, the first man I end up with, that's the man I'm going to spend my life with. I was not one to jump from here to here, kissing millions of frogs to find my prince. I knew that any man that I end up with is the man that I've really decided that okay in the long run this is the man I'm gonna walk down the aisle with but then again I kept praying even while I was in that relationship in my early years in my 17 18 19 20 years I always kept on praying for my husband fast forward to many years down the line when I was in the university I met my husband well my husband it, it, like it happened in the rarest it happened in the in the weirdest of ways that i would never have imagined and it was in a way that i really did not even want because i did not see myself marrying somebody in which i was the same school with talk of being in the same class with yeah i got married to my classmate this story has before i even this story is something that many people have asked me and so it's a popular demand and here i am sharing the story yeah so like i was saying it happened in the weirdest of ways that in that if i had the opportunity i'll be like uh -uh, god i don't want to marry my classmate i don't even want to marry somebody that i'm in the same school with but god has his ways right god's ways are not never never our ways i found myself in a department that i really did not like he found himself i think he had gone through um looking at it telling going back to the story that he had told me he had gone through he had gone to other universities universities he studied law but for some reason he wanted to study agriculture because i did agriculture in my bachelor's degree so we found ourselves in the same school in university and in the same classroom but i did not really have a relationship with this guy up until like my third and fourth year of my bachelor's degree because agriculture was a four-year course and so even though we we're in the same class we wouldn't our paths would never really cross and back then i was still in a relationship with my ex-boyfriend at the time so this was not even something that i knew about but the one of the things that amazes me in is that while i was praying for my husband he my husband was actually praying for his wife and so god is so wonderful god is so wonderful and the way the story unravels really 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 amazes me to say yes god is really god so going down the line attending classes living classes since we did agriculture we actually did practicals where we would go to the farm and plant crops and then we weed we go to weed the crops and then we water them and all that so in one of those times where we where we found ourselves in the doing our practicals in the farm side then i think this was how i managed to start getting close to this guy because he would come around to tell me that oh can i help you with your farm can i help you to weed can i help you to do this and i would just accept because i'm like yes you can help me because who wants to stay here i don't want to stress right but i did not know that this guy had been secretly admiring me he had been secretly praying for me right now when he told me the story he was like oh he saw me he liked me he liked the way i walked he liked this dark beautiful girl and all that but <laughs> looking back right now i did not really pay much attention i was just there for okay help me to walk my farm help me to weed so that i can leave this place i can go back to my hostel 
yeah but um when we started getting close then it happened that he was the one who led me to christ back then i had an issue i had like i started having issues with my then boyfriend because he was out of the country and the communication was not the best so this guy would come around to like cheer me up and uh, he, he had become so close to me that i i eventually opened up to, to him to say yeah i actually have a boyfriend and people in class back then knew that i had a boyfriend who was out of the country because back then it was a big deal right it was a big deal to have a guy who was out of the country and so everybody knew that melanie is a no-go Area, she would definitely not accept you and there were guys that would actually bet to their friends to be like oh Melanie would accept me so my boy my husband right now who was then just a classmate he did not listen to the negative stories of others because boys will come to me and I'll tell them no I'm not interested and so they'll go and tell their friends oh that girl is hot that girl is hot she's not she would not be she would never be interested in you and my husband did not give up because indeed <laughs> yeah, I found what he wanted and he really really went after it so long story short this happened and um, while I was in that place of feeling bad about my ex-boyfriend not communicating I really felt as though something was was going to happen you know when they say when a boy leaves a girl in Cameroon there is no hope he will go there he will meet a white girl he will go there you meet better girls so I was in that situation so my husband who at that time was my classmate will come around to cheer me up and he'll give me words like if a guy really loves you girl he would go to the ends of the earth to make sure that you guys communicate he will go to the ends of the earth to make sure that he communicates to you that he still thinks about you he still cares about you but me looking at our relationship i would see that we will go for like a week without actually communicating and i'm a big i am a big adv advocate of communication and i believe that online or long distance relationship i mean if you cannot see each other we should be able to talk to each other almost all the time and i i didn't get this from my relationship so i felt like something was wrong my husband noticed that there was a spot kind of there was a place and so he came to me with these words of encouragement with these words of if a guy really loves you he will do this for you he will show you like this and me in my head i'm like hmm but this is the kind of guy that i really want someone that is really going to put me first someone that is not going to come up with excuses of oh i was so busy that's why i could not call you because you guys i don't believe that there is an extent to which a man can be so busy that he would not pick up his phone for 30 seconds to text me to say oh baby i'm so sorry even though i'm thinking about you right now i'm caught up in this i'm caught up in this except you are actually dying that's the degree to which i felt like communication should be but i was not getting this and so my husband who was back then my friend yeah because he he started moving up to to from being a random classmate to like a cordial friend you know he was I think he knew what he was doing and so he was paving his way closer to my heart kind of and um since i was still worldly back then and he was a god-fearing guy he told me that there was a better way out of all of this and so he introduced christ to me or god used him to introduce himself to me and i found so much peace i enjoyed the times that we spent studying the word of god i'm going out to church i stopped going to catholic church because i felt like i did not get what i really really needed i started going to going with him on like christian fellowship on meetings of prayer meetings and all that and i really started enjoying my time with god and then i was going drawing closer to him i believe that that was what he wanted he even told me that there was a time whereby he took a picture of me in school just like oh can i take a photo of you and i'm going to send to your phone kind of i say yeah why not so he took a photo of me and i did not know that this guy had placed my photo on his screensaver like on the screen of his phone and he told me that he actually prayed like putting that photo on his screensaver he said this is his wife so whenever his friends would ask him 
which girl is this this is a fine girl what babe is that on your phone you'll be like oh this is my wife this is my wife so actually he was prophesying these things and calling those things that be not as though they were right he was speaking it into reality yeah so um, that is how it went on i started really enjoying my time with god and then with that i i found that i was not really emotional towards my uh my boyfriend who was out of the country again because i felt like if a guy really loves me he's really going to do this and do this and do this for me and i felt like there was a loophole i felt like this guy is not true he's not who he says he is he's actually having another girl over there and i just started living my life right i just started gradually removing myself from the equation because i knew that there is going to come a time when this guy is going to tell me it's over being that i was spending a lot of time now with my friend my husband who i thought was my friend because just looking at him physically you guys i would tell myself that hmm, this guy is not my spec <laughs> physically for me he was never my spec he was not the tall cute um gap to six pack kind of your guy that everybody craves these days so he did not match up to what i wanted in a husband but as god will have it spiritually i really found solace in him he would really encourage me we would pray together we would study the word together and i really found peace being in his presence fast forward to when we were graduating we were already so close and there was this rumor i had about my ex-boyfriend that he came to the country and he came with a white lady to come and introduce to his parents and i was like wow you guys even even if i was not really emotionally attached to him as i was before it couldn't i was still caught off guard i was still i still feel felt very bad i still felt very sad i mean this was my first boyfriend and this was the guy i really 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 intended to spend the rest of my life with and i really felt bad and i'm sure that it, it would have been worse if i was not in christ if christ had not if my life was not different if i did not have a different perspective about who i am and that not to depend on a man or not to go after a man you know i had since i had been praying to god that i want a faithful guy and this guy was from the way he was acting it was all shades of unfaithfulness and when he came to when i, when I heard the rumor that he had come with a girl even though I cried, even though I mourned for a bit, I felt like, okay, this is God actually taking me away from the situation. This is God actually answering my prayers because I'm like, yes, Father, I've been praying to you that I need a faithful man. I need a man that would honor me, a man that would put me first. So is this the way you want to do it? So I had that solace in, okay, at least God has shown it to me before. I actually got married and then I found out that this guy was not faithful, right? So that was what gave me solace that was what gave me peace and just like that i forgot about the guy just like that uh even though when he came back he said he wanted to meet me i went to meet him and i told him that well i can no longer be in a relationship with him because i have found that or he came with another girl to introduce to his parents and he tried to come up with excuses and all that but my mind was already i'd already moved past that because i had rediscovered that i really wanted a relationship where god would be at the center and this guy was not all the kind of churchy churchy guy he was not really strong spiritually at that time so he was not someone that i really wanted to spend the rest of my life with going down the line because i am all about having a christian home having a home where you can really raise your children in peace in love and with the fear of the lord and I didn't see that in that guy so that was how i ended my relationship with that guy and my husband being there at the time he was the next best alternative kind of that i had to go for so just when that was happening my husband had to open up to tell me that he had that he had been having relation he had been having feelings for me for a long time now and he has been going to god praying that he really really wanted me for a wife i mean things just clicked it's just like the lines were falling for me in pleasant places it's just like behind that dark cloud of my ex-boyfriend being unfaithful there was a silver lining of god bringing a new man after his heart to me 
and that is how it has been ever since ever since then i started being with my husband we have been together ever since then and right now we have been married for about five years but we have been together for give it give or take plus 10 10 plus years so guys that is um my little story of how i actually started praying for my husband at the age of 16 as a non-christian but god in his infinite mercy god in his absolute wisdom and the way he knows how to do his things he actually came through for me he blessed me with the man after my heart and the man after his heart and my relationship now my marriage right now my family right now to the glory of god is what i had really 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 hoped for i'd really prayed for i had really desired when i went to him in those teenage those um years where i was actually ignorant but i went and i spoke those words of those words of father please bless me with a god-fearing man a man that would uphold and a man that would honor me and god always come through so i want to encourage someone today it doesn't really matter if you look at your, your life and you say oh there is nothing to write home about i've not really lived the best of life i have not really made the right um choices in my life god is so faithful god is so merciful and he actually 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 hears our prayers especially when it has to do especially when it has to do with a kingdom marriage right especially when it has to do with a christian home because god is so invested in christian home these days you will all agree with me that it everything begins from a christian home raising up the next generation of godly kids and there is a video on that i'm going to link it up here as well i had a video with some of my friends talking about raising godly children god is also invested in bringing glory to his kingdom starting from family going up to relationship and to the way we treat our children the way we raise our children as godly parents and so god would always 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 grant your heart desires according to his riches and glory if you just go to him and tell him that father i have i have kissed a lot of frogs i don't want to kiss them anymore just bring to me that man that would honor me that man that would fear you and fear me or that man that will fear you and honor me and be faithful to me and respect me and put me first all the time and yeah you have it he would answer your prayer because god is a faithful god and he loves us so dearly i hope this video was able to bless you i hope you were able to learn about something i hope you are encouraged to start praying for your spouse it's never too late and even when you are married already to that that man never 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 stop praying for him and likewise you should never stop praying for your wife if you are a man just continue to to commit your relationship continue to commit your marriage into the hands of god and see him work wonders and raise you all up for his glory again please remember to like this video leave your comments on what you think about my story and if you have not subscribed please please kindly subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye